Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. In case you haven't heard, Roger Federer is making plans to return to the clay this year, saying on social media that he will play in May and then head to the French Open. Fans are thrilled and very anxious to see how the maestro manages on the surface. So to honor Federer's return, we're running down his top five best moments on clay, starting with his first Masters title at Hamburg. It was 2002. Roger was still a relatively young pup on tour, looking for a statement win to help him build his reputation. And in May of 2002, he did it. As the number 11 seed, he raced all the way to the title, defeating Murat Safin in straight sets. It was his first title at the Masters level. And to get there, Federer had to beat some excellent clay quarters, including Ecuador's Nicolas Lepetti in the first round and Guga Querton in the quarters. Number four on our list. There can only be one king of blue clay, and that's Roger. That's because in 2012, when Ion Tiriak, owner of the Madrid Masters, decided to play the tournament on a strange blue clay, it was Roger Federer who took the title. Federer's biggest win of the week was in the final, when he battled back from a set down to defeat Tomas Burdic. He also topped the great clay court player David Ferrer in the quarterfinals. Number three on our list, a triumph on Madrid's red clay, which came in 2009. That year, Federer took down the great Rafa Nadal in the final at Madrid. A victory over Andy Roddick in the quarters was followed by a takedown of Juan Martín del Potro in the semis, and on that same day, Rafa Nadal and Novak Djokovic were battling for four hours and 26 minutes in an epic semifinal. Turns out, Nadal didn't have enough left in the tank to deal with Federer in the final, and he was swept off the court by Roger 6-4, 6-4. The victory was Federer's second of only two career victories against Nadal on clay. And second on our list of great Federer moments on clay is his first and biggest victory over Nadal on clay, and that was in Hamburg in 2007. He snapped Rafa's 81-match clay winning streak by handing Nadal a 2-6, 6-2, 6-0 defeat. After that match, Rafa famously said, if he had to lose to anyone, Roger is the man. And Roger's best moment on clay, of course, Roland Garros 2009. And honestly, by the time 2009 rolled around, it was starting to feel like Roger Federer might never win Roland Garros. Not because he wasn't a great court player, because over the years he had proven he was, but because Nadal simply could not be stopped in Paris. However, when Robin Soderling took out Nadal, the door was wide open for Federer to storm through, and the Swiss took advantage of it, claimed his 14th major title, defeating Robin Soderling in straight sets in that final. But it wasn't an easy road for Roger. He had been deep in trouble against Tommy Haas in the round of 16, trailing by two sets, but he prevailed. Again in the semis, he was down two sets to one against Juan Martin Del Potro, but again he came through. In the final, Federer cleared the second set tiebreaker, hitting four straight aces at one point and it was off to the races. And Fed had his French Open victory. Some pretty spectacular moments for Roger on clay. The big question is, does he have any more in him? Can he pull off the seemingly impossible this year at age 39, almost 40? We'd love to see it. What about you? Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.